In Cella Architect 3.7, we redesign the parameter control panel so they can act more effectively as a dashboard for your models. Let me show you how to use it. If you go to Window, Open Parameter Control Panel, you'll see you get a window um, that you can dock. I like to dock mine next to the Properties panel. What I can then do is I can add variables to it, ones that I want to be able to control and always see the value of. So if I were to, for instance, add the birth rate, which I can do by command dragging, or using the green plus and adding, for instance, the carrying capacity, you'll see that those two items are now in the list. It shows you their equation value, their current value. It tells you how they are set or if they are not set. And if you run the model, now you can, of course, change it here on the diagram as you've always been able to and see the value update in real time. Or you can change the value by clicking directly into the table. Or when you change a knob, it then tells you and adds to the list anything that has changed. Anything that has changed can be reset individually to bring it back uh, to the base value. A new big change is also the ability to change graphical functions using the parameter control panel. So I'm going to command drag that in, and you can see that I've got the graphical here. I can click on the graphical, open it up, and draw in a slightly different shape, and my model will re-simulate. And now we can see that this has also been interactively controlled. If I want to restore this, I just hit the restore button. This list can also be ordered any way that you want by dragging and dropping. And what's pretty neat about this is that the, this list and its order is saved when you save the model. That way, if you want to you know, have a set of switches that you're always looking at um, and want to make sure that uh, you know, they're set the way that you expect them, you uh, can just add them to this parameter control panel and see them in the order that you're used to seeing them. The final thing I'd like to show to you is that you can use the parameter control panel to highlight and select any of the variables in the list by clicking on the flashlight button. If at any point you want to remove a variable, you can do it with the X. And if you want to remove all of the not set variables, you can do it using remove not set. So this is the new parameter control panel in Stella Architect 3.7.